Violent crime down five and a half percent across Washington state. Murders and property crimes seeing a slight decrease as well with some promising data. But the Washington Association of Sheriffs and Police Chiefs says we still have a long way to go. But vehicle thefts continue to trend upwards, up 112 percent since 2019. And officials say 20 percent of those swiping these stolen vehicles are juveniles. We've seen an increase just from 2022 to 23 of 24% in juveniles arrested. So juvenile arrests are up 24% in just one year in the year 2023. Officials suspect state laws prohibiting law enforcement from speaking to juveniles without an attorney are partly to blame. I think that the difficulties and challenge challenges that have been cited about being able to question and speak to juveniles as suspects or witnesses is a huge issue. I think it has had a negative effect on juvenile crime, and it's in some ways, it's not the entire reason, but I think it's part of the increase we've seen in juvenile arrests. And on top of all this, agencies across the state continue to face challenges with record low staffing levels. Washington State ranks 51st in the nation in staffing. This is the 13th straight year of being last in the nation in law enforcement staffing. Officials also say law enforcement staffing has been on a massive downward trend for decades, and that downward trend has really accelerated in the last four to five years. Newly released report from the Washington Association of Sheriffs and Police Chiefs show that overall crime rates have declined in the state of Washington, but there are still some troubling numbers when it comes to specific crimes like vehicle thefts. I spoke with Lynn Ann Wynn tonight about the new data. Well, Lynn Ann, thanks so much for joining us here on ARC Seattle tonight. So what kind of trends are they seeing throughout the state right now? Right, so this report comes out every year from the Washington Association of Sheriffs and Police Chiefs, so we can say, see the different um, crime trends that the state is seeing. Um, so this year, their report um, goes from 2022 to 2023. Um, they were seeing slight decreases um, overall statewide in things like violent crime was down about 5.5%, um, murders were slightly down, and property crimes um, were also down. And so those are some promising trends that they were seeing, but we're also seeing some uh, categories continue to go on the upward trend. Um, things like uh, juvenile crime, hate crimes, um, and motor vehicle thefts, um, which are apparently up 112% uh, since 2018. Wow. So even though we have some of those promising trends that I talked about earlier, the violent crime, the murders slightly down, um, officials that we talked to today just say that it's um, there's still a lot of work to be done, basically. We're nowhere near um, where we should be or pre-pandemic levels, and it's unclear if we'll you know, be, ever be able to get back to that. Um, but it is promising we're seeing some you know, slight decreases, according to officials we talked to today, um, just still a long way to go. With the, with the trends they're seeing with, with the report that you're looking at, did it, did it specify what parts of the state are, are kind of suffering the worst? Well, so the way it works, it, they don't necessarily rank um, the different cities because certain cities, you know, are, are just different population wise, but also visitors, the number of um, tourists and things like that. Um, so they don't quite rank cities in that way. But what they do is they take data from every law enforcement agency or nearly every law enforcement agency in the state. And that's Washington State Patrol, um, that's uh, county sheriffs, and that's local police departments. Um, and so they aggregate that data into, um, I believe it's like a six 100 page report um, but also you can see each agency's data as well as a part of that report so if you're more interested in um, you know the city or to, um, county that you live in you can go to this report and look specific to the data in your area so the the report ends in 2023 what, what month does it end March um, so but it ends in March right but they still continue to collect data year-round um, so the reason it doesn't come out until the summer is because they're waiting for all of the different agencies to go ahead and send in that data so that they can uh, aggregate it and kind of organize it and see what types of trends they're seeing um, and where we can improve in Washington. It would be interesting to see if they had uh, stats or data down the road here on, on juvenile teen or juvenile crime since we're seeing so much of it. Is there anything like that in the in the report or is it just mostly toward just just the crimes in general, not specific ages? 
Right. Well, numbers in juvenile crime still concerning uh, juvenile arrests are up. Um, I think it jumped up more than a thousand. So last year, um, I believe the numbers hovered around 6,200 juveniles arrested for different crimes. Um, or sorry, I should say 20, in 2022, um, it was about 6,200 juveniles that were arrested. And then the following year in 2023, that number jumped up to more than 7,700. So that's um, an increase of more than 1,000 um, juveniles that were arrested for different things. Um, they also noted that more, or, yeah, more than half of the juveniles arrested are between the ages of 13 to 15 years old. Um, so those are the types of uh, juvenile offenders they're seeing. And also with those vehicle thefts that I told you that were up 112%, more than 20% of those arrests for vehicle thefts are juveniles. So they make up, you know, nearly a quarter um, almost of arrests for vehicle thefts. Yeah, I'm just curious with, with the next report that'll come out, obviously this time next year, uh, you know, whether those amount of juvenile crimes will be up or down, but it seems like right now we just keep seeing so many of those crimes, including uh, involving those those young kids and the 13, 14, 15 year olds, sometimes even younger. It'll be interesting to see where those numbers fall. Right. And according to this report, and I've only looked for the previous two years, um, but it has been on the upward trend in recent mm -hmm. years that I've seen. Very interesting. All right, Lynn Ann, thanks so much for all the information and the new developments with this uh, report statewide. And uh, as always, thanks for being with us here in Arc Seattle tonight. We appreciate it. All right. Thanks, Preston.